Are you serious? Are you serious? Trying to, <clears throat> trying to have some coffee this morning, but a horrible story. And you just wonder how, how this can even happen. But in Austria, not in Australia, but in Austria, 71 bodies have been found in the back of a truck. The victims included 59 men, eight women, four children who were thought to have been dead for about two days. They were in the back of a truck sitting on the side of the highway in Austria. Uh, and this truck had been abandoned. Now officials said the group appeared to be migrants from Syria and probably died after suffocating in the vehicle. Police in Hungary say that they are arresting four people, three Bulgarians and one Afghanistan, uh, linked to this story. This is terrible. Um, the decomposing bodies were discovered by Austrian police officers on Thursday morning in the, uh, there on the interstate, sitting there on A4 motorway towards Vienna. Uh, the vehicle was towed to a customs building with refrigeration facilities where the forensic teams then work through the night to examine the bodies. The group are thought to have been dead when the vehicle crossed into Austria from Hungary. Among the victims was a girl aged between one and two years old. The local police chief said a travel document found on the vehicle suggested <clears throat> that the group were Syrian migrants. <clears throat> this is just I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to, you know, this is the desperation though, that uh, the people from Syria, you know, because ISIS has just destroyed their country, taking over their cities, executing them, beheading them, crucifying them, raping them, murdering the children, destroying their infrastructure, blowing up the tomb of Jonah, destroying their ancient artifacts of their history, just outright massacring, and many of them, Christians. Christians are being, it's a genocide on Christians. They find a Christian, they kill them. It's just not even a question. And so here's some desperate people trying to get out of this country any way to get somewhere else, and they end up dying in the back of a truck sitting on the side of the road in, in Austria. Uh, this is just horrific what's happening. It's just horrific what is happening uh, to humanity. And yet there is no compassion. There is no concern. There's no, there, the six superpowers of the world would rather sit down with the Iranians. They would rather sit down with the Iranians and protect Iran's right, they call it, to have nuclear program and potentially nuclear capability, including ballistic missiles right now, they would rather lock arms like a seven-headed monster, seven nations. Yet ISIS continues the slaughter of the innocents and their, or Boko Haram slaughtering and raping and murdering the people of uh, Nigeria. The Houthis take over Yemen's government, just run rampant. There is nothing, nobody. But ISIS, we know what they're doing. I mean, everyone in the world knows what these guys are doing. How do they still control half of Iraq and half of Syria? And the six big superpowers making sure that Iran is protected while Israel stands over on the sidelines screaming, this is horrible. What are you doing? What is the world doing? So it's a seven-headed monster. Seven nations, China, Russia, United States, the United Kingdom, France, uh, Germany, and Iran. Seven nations. Seven nations. And nobody, none of these big boys can stop ISIS. And that's why these people are being slaughtered everywhere and then out of desperation trying to get out of the country, dying in the back of a truck. Are you serious? It's a disgrace to the human race. It's a disgrace to the human race. Folks, we're running out of time. I'm serious. Jesus is coming back soon. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are running out of time.